on a lane from mum's childhood home and this is what I walk out onto. I can't begin to tell you what this moment means. <laughs> Good morning. Ciao boy son. <laughs> it's uh, sunrise in my mum's village and I just wanted to come out and see if I can capture some of the sunrise this morning. So there's a lady coming past and she's coming up the path and she's going to the market. You'll see her coming up. She's off to the market this morning. But we're going later on after breakfast. We're going to go over to the, the local market. And um, get some food, have a look around and, and then come back. Yeah, boy, son. <laughs> so you can see over the back here, just where the market is, sort of, I can point it out. The market is there. So that's the market we're gonna walk over to this morning. And then depending on what supplies we get, then we catch a bike back. Just waiting for the beautiful sunrise. You can just see it. This is coming through. This is surreal to finally be here. It's just surreal. It really is. So this morning at uh, just at 4 or 9 actually, the roosters woke me up and then I could hear all the chicks. Actually, the chicks were first. I could hear the chicks waking me up first. You might be able to hear them in the background. And then the roosters started. And then the geckos. And I had to get up to go to the toilet like at 1.30 during the night. And I, I got Fraser to come up with me. Because I was a bit worried about seeing a rat. Because uh, last night when we were just playing uh, some cards, uh, Lachlan and I saw a rat <laughs> up on the roof. He was going across the beams and he went into the roof. And I just thought, no, I don't want to be going to the toilet. And, in the dark, but they left the light on for me, but I didn't realise that. But how's that, that sky? Beautiful. Oh, you can't see it, you might be able to see it, but there's someone out there on the lake with their lights getting ready to go fishing. Oh, you won't be able to see it. Just sort of in behind the bananas there. You might be able to see, you can see, you might be able to catch a bit of a light shining over there. The island's built on sand and so they have a lot of midges. So last night um, we had to spray for midges and, but the family put nets over our beds for us so that um, we weren't going to get attacked by midges during the night, which was really lovely. Oh, look, you might, I'll go back there, you might be able to see them, see the lights flashing just over there in the background. Over in there. See the main drag over there. So it'll be nice and bustling. I'm going to show later. Fraser and I went out on the bike. Look, this person's on their bike. And uh, it was just the most wonderful feeling. Ciao, boy, son. So I'm going to see if I can get some photos because it's coming up really pretty. <laughs> place, the place where she grew up and, and we're finally here mum, seeing it for ourselves and it's beautiful. I 
I don't remember Vietnam growing up. I was too young when I left. All I can say is that I'm loving every moment of learning and feeling the strong connection that's always been with me. And I'm just loving every moment. It's 25 past five and the midges are still out. I'm just walking back to the house after just um, checking out the, the sunrise this morning. And we're gonna have some breakfast. We're having some uh, bun mi. I think everybody knows what bun mi is. So we're gonna have some bun mi. Oh, my cousin just going to the market. market with your grandkids too mum yeah, I bet you never thought that that day would happen but here we are
buying them. You know, they'll, 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 they'll wrap them up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think they're rubbish. Look at the bend, my God. 